Here we go. It's Friday, 7 a.m., and we're getting our trade on. But first, we have our guest back into the studio again here this time today. You can see him. Look at this. We have video, rare footage of the mysterious unknown Connor. Connor has a joke of the day, dad joke of the day. So what's, what's today's joke? Today's dad joke is, why did the eggs all break? Why did the eggs all break? I don't know why. Because they cracked each other up. <laughs> Give me five. Come on, buddy. Good one. Hey, you missed. All right. That's it. Joke of the day. Good job, Joker. Okay, so here we go. It's Friday, May 10th. And let's get these suckers on. So let's go. Oh, you know what? There's something at 7. There's some sort of a news uh, some sort of a report or something. So it, let's wait for just a second. Okay, there's seven. Let's see if the market goes crazy. Oh, okay. I can dig it. I can dig this. Come on, baby. Oh, the prices are, are all over the place. Don't know if I like that. Yeah, I'm going to wait for just a second. I'm going to let this thing settle down a little bit. It's just, you know, nonsense, I'm sure. Just let's move the market around a little bit. Everybody at 7, go. Here we go. So let's get our trade on. Let's go over to the, the, the option chain here. So this is May 10th. This is a zero DTE butterfly or cherry butterfly trades. So let's open this up and then let's go down to at the money. At the money. Come on, baby. Think her swim is in fine form once again today. Okay, so uh, we're going to go to at the money. So we'll say analyze by trade. We're going to we're doing three widths. These are all test trades. So here's the, oh, that's a vertical. That's not what I want. Come on, slow. Slow TOS, analyze by trade. We want to select butterfly. God, this thing is... Like, what if my... Here's my nightmare. What if, like, now that Schwab bought TOS and they're taking over... Like, they're taking over officially today. It's May 10th. Um, what, if this, what if this Thinkorswim platform just goes to hell? Like... I live and breathe by this thing. I don't know what I would do without my my TOS risk graphs and all that. Look at this. Nothing. Unbelievable. And I did restart not too long ago. Here, I'm going to restart again. Okay, here we are back again. Let's see how we do. This is like becoming the Debbie Downer. All I do is moan and complain about this. Okay, so let's see. So right now... The SPX is trading at 52.30, so that'll be our middle strike. We'll say 52.30. And then this is gonna be, the first one will be a 15-pointer, so we're going to go down 15 points from that, which is going to be 52.15. And then we're going to go uh, 15 points above it, which will be 52.45. So there's our first one, the 15-pointer. I'm going to lock that guy in, and then I'm going to say uh, analyze trade. I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to shift these strikes just a little bit. The second test will be a 20-pointer. So I'm going to expand these, pull these wings out by five points on either side. There we go. I'm going to lock that in, and then I'm going to do one more here. This will be the 25-pointer. So this one's going to be like so. There is our 20 pointer. I mean, 25 pointer. Okay, I'm going to lock that in. So there's our three trades, our three test trades. So there we go. There's our three trades. We got our 15. Hey, the 15 is already showing some money. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's jumping all over the place. Okay, so now let's look at doing our live trade. Okay, so um, we're going to do a 15-pointer. And I have another trade on that I already put on this morning that's on the call side, like a real live money trade. So 
I'm going to use the puts. I don't want to step on strikes and mess up that other position I have on. It's a totally different position, but it's on the call side in this same range. So rather than try to dodge and step over strikes and all that crap, I'm going to just do the puts. So the puts, so we're training at 52.30. So all this is the same, except we're doing this on the put side. I'm going to unlock that box. So here we go. This is our put butterfly at the money butter. I'm going to see if I can get filled here. I want to get a nice price. What's my best price I can get? I see four, ooh, four, can I get like 4.30? I don't think I could get that. Hey, why not? Let's just try it. We got time. It's Friday. So let's go over to the monitor tab and see what we got going on here. Okay, so I'm saying 430. It's bouncing around 445-ish. So let me come in by... Oh, there's 435. Let me go up by... Let me see if I can get 435. So I'll go up 430. Come on, think or swim. Okay, so now I change that order to say uh, 435. And the mark's showing 435, so we could get filled if the trading gods are with us. Let's see. There's 435. There's 425. This is just jumping all over the place. Uh, maybe I should go up by five more cents. I'm not getting filled. Okay, so let's go up to 440. Darn market makers. I'm caving into them. Those greedy bastards. Okay, what do we got now? I haven't heard a chime yet. So we got... I'm trying to get filled at 440. The mark right now is showing 440, 445. 450. I'm about to go up to 445. Oh, there's 430. There's 405. Come on. Probably have to go up another five. Oh, by now. So now the, uh, you know what? Now we're down to 5226. So maybe I should. Maybe I should change the, uh, oh, now we're, uh, mm, this is a hard one. This is a puzzle. Which strike to go with? So it's moved down to four, it's 5226 right now. Where are we gonna, should we just keep going with this guy? Well, if we want to be technically correct and follow the rules, we should probably go down to 52.25. So let's shift everything down by five points. 15-pointer. The middle strike's at 52.25. Right there. Um, we can get like 4.20-ish on this guy. So I should probably cancel this. Say cancel order. Okay, let's look at this again. I'm, I'm, I have, I, I'm in a, I'm in a position of indecision. Do we go with this new strike or the old one? Let me do, let me duplicate this guy so I can compare them together. So this will be uh, 5230, 5245, yeah, and 5215. Look at that, that looks kind of like Devil's Tower. Okay, so here is option one. Now we're getting back up towards uh, 30 again. 30 is probably the right one. Now watch, it'll be the wrong one. Okay, so I'm going to try to get filled on this 52, 30. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's give it a shot. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to say create duplicate order. We're doing this on the puts. Uh, I'm going to unchuck that box there and see what the current price is. It says 465. So let's see if we can get 460. Is this 460? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to send that off. There it is working. So I'm trying to get filled at 460. It says 460. So I'm, I'm thinking I should get filled here. Okay, there it went. It went at 460. So let's lock that in at 460. I'll get rid of this one. Keep everything clean. Okay, so let's see what we got now. So we have our three tests, our three paper trades. So that's the 15-pointer. Come on, thinkers. That's the 20. That's the 25. And then this is the live the live money trade on the put side. And this is where we're at on that trade. So right off the bat, I'm going to set an automatic exit order on this live trade. I'm going to say analyze opposite order. Then I'm going to uncheck this box. So this is the opposite order, the closing order for that. And then I'm just going to um, look at this. This should be a straight line right now. But thinkorswim is just going down the tubes. So if I hit this, if I hit this scan tab up here and then go back, oh yeah, there we go. Okay, little little think or swim trick. Okay, so I'm gonna tick this price up here just to see what price I need to get filled at to make my 50 bucks. So that's 25. That's 45. Uh. What's going on here? That's 55. Okay, so we need to get filled at 510 on this to make our 50 bucks. God, this thing is just... This is this kind of reminds me of what it would be like trading like when the internet just came out. Like with AOL back in the day, you know, when we had those modems that made all those weird sounds when you connected what'd they call that like this is broadband I guess but what was it called back then it was a big deal if you could get broadband like whoa really man you must live in a cool area okay so we have that order on um yeah there it is working so 510 will give us our 50 bucks on this we're at 455 Let's just take a look at where we're at. I'll uncheck that box. And then to see it, you have to go over here and click the scan button. It's like a secret hidden trick. And so there's our there's our live trade. So we're down eight bucks, through four bucks, three bucks. Okay, so that's it. We're off and running. I'm gonna check back in around oh, like let's say eight forty five or nine. I no, I mean seven forty five, like in thirty minutes or so. Maybe 15. We'll see how it goes. And we're off and running. And that's it. I'll see you in a few minutes. All right. Here we are. It's 746. So this is our second check-in for the day. And we just got filled on the live money uh, butterfly. The real deal one at 510 so that gives us our 50 bucks our hit we hit our profit target on that one so let's look at the paper ones real quick so here's the paper money um wow look at that let me make sure that that's correct so this is the 15 pointer this one's showing we're up 100 bucks which is surprising to me but hey i'll up and take it um so that one has would have hit profit target and it's right now it far exceeded it's like double the profit target on that one so let's look at the 20 pointer. Here's the 20 pointer. This one is showing a profit of 106 bucks or so. So this one would have hit profit target. Profit target on this one was um, 75 bucks, right? Yeah. 75 bucks on that one. And then the last one here, the 25 pointer. 
This is the 25 pointer. This one's showing a profit of 113 ish. So the profit target on this was 100. So we probably would have hit that. So we most likely would have hit that as well. So all three of them would have hit the morning session profit targets. And then lastly, let's look at this is our live money trade that just got filled. I had an automatic exit order out there to get filled at the 50 buck, the $50 profit target. And that one is this one right here. So you can see currently this is showing um, a profit around 50 bucks. But like I said, so this is a real this one was a real money trade. We did it on the put side because I didn't want to step on strikes of a different completely different position that's on the call side there. So I just went switched over to puts for the live money one. And we had a profit target set at this one here that just closed at 510. So if we say if we analyze this, analyze trade, you can see that. That gives us our 50 bucks on that one. So that, that position is closed out and hit profit target. All right, so that's it for right now. I'll be back like in 15 to 30 minutes. See you soon. Okay, here we go. This is the 8.30 update. And here are the paper money butterflies that we're testing. So this is the 15 point wide butterfly. This is showing a profit of 20 bucks right now. It's outside the tent, but, we, but we're in that nice profit hump still so this is showing a current profit of about 25 20 20 to 20 to 30 bucks okay so that's the 15 pointer let's go down to the 20 pointer here's the 20 pointer we're just outside the 10 on this one and we're showing up um, a small profit like say 10 bucks so break even to 10 bucks in that range and let's do the 25 point trade here's the 25 pointer we're just inside the tent and this is showing a slight loss like minus seven to ten bucks okay and then the real money trade was already closed down it hit profit target of 50 bucks but let's just take a look at it real quick so here is the here's the trade we already closed down for profit target of 50 bucks to 15 pointer and Right now, this trade, had we not closed that down, this trade right now, we have a, a loss of like uh, maybe 20 bucks. Outside the tent, loss of 20 to 30 bucks at this point. But again, this trade was already closed down at profit target, so that was a winner. All right, so that's it for this checkup. I'll come back in just a little bit, you know, maybe maybe half an hour, or maybe we'll just skip right up to the next one with the mid-morning update, like between 10 and 10.30. Okay, so see you soon. Okay, here we are. It's the 10.30 update. The gardeners just arrived right on cue out there making a bunch of noise. I'm just, I'm just complaining too much today. I apologize. Okay, so uh, here is the update on our, on our zero DTE cherry butterflies. So the mid-morning update. Here's the first one. This is the 15-point wide and this one is down 70 bucks had we just put this on and done nothing at this up to this point right now would be outside the tent and down 60 to 70 bucks so that's the 15 pointer here's the 20 pointer come on 20 okay here we go this is the 20 pointer this one's outside the tent and is showing a lot current loss of about 70 bucks as well 70 bucks and then there's one more the 25 point butterfly 25 point butterflies outside the tent and showing a loss of about 100 100 bucks so those are the three paper trades for today and again these are put on uh like at seven in the morning california time and this is as if we just put them on and had, had done nothing. We just let them go. That's where they would be right now. We did one live money trade today on the put side. And this was a 15-pointer. And the, here's the trade. So this trade we got out at profit targets. So we made our money on this one, 50 bucks. But I'll go ahead and continue to monitor as if uh, to see how it would look if we did not get out. We did get out, but this is how it would look if we didn't. And this is showing a current loss of about 100 bucks outside the tent to the downside. 
All right, so that's it for the mid-morning update. I'll see you at the end of the day, the settlement. The last looks. All right, see you soon. Okay, so this is the final update. Uh, the settlement update, Friday after the market. So let's take a look at each of the paper positions we had on. And these are these will be looks, last looks, to see where these positions would have finished up at. So say we put the trade on at 7 a.m. And in this scenario, let's just say that we did nothing. We just walked away, we forgot about it, and we just let it land wherever it landed at expiration. How would we have made out? So this is the 15-pointer. This one would have got a profit of 346. Not too shabby. This the the um it's surprising to me a bit how often it settles inside these tents. And I, I wouldn't ex I didn't expect that, but I saw that in the back test too, and it continues now with these this uh, paper trading we're doing. So that was the 15. Here is the 20 point. This is the 20 point settlement and this one we would have wound up with a profit of 521 bucks had we done nothing just put it on and walked away and then the last one is this is a uh, a pro this would have had a profit of 631 if we just did nothing and walked away and let it settle wherever it settled at so all those are nice winners so and then and then we also did a uh, a a real money trade which is right here this one we set a profit target as soon as we placed it in the morning and it got filled about half hour later so the the pro this is the 15 wide the profit target on this was 50 bucks so i hit my 50 bucks and it was i got out of this trade for the profit uh now had we done nothing had we just put the trade on and then walked away at settlement it would have wound up with 306 dollars so let me take a look at the excel sheet real quick Okay, so here we go. So today is May 10th. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to put it down here. Change the date to the 10th. And the risks on these were... Let's go to the front. So uh, on 15 wide was 415. The 20 wide was 745. So 415 and 745. 415 745 and then the 25 pointer the risk was 1135 okay 1135 so at midpoint today oh I always forget the midpoint where was it I forgot I'll, have to, I'll look later and fill that part in. I think it was a, I think it was a loss at the midpoint. Anyway, so at the end of the day. Oh wait. Oh yeah, what was the first one? God, I'm losing my memory. Does anyone out there have any memory? Good memory medicine, memory pills. Um. I'm going to fill these in later. Sorry, guys. You'll see in the next update what they are. So I, for, I forget what, if it was a loss or not, and the second one was a loss. I think it was a loss, but we'll see. The final one was there were winners. They weren't pins, but they were all winners. And I'm starting to include the, the profit amount that was made on these. So 637 for that one. 637. My dream is to have find a strategy that I can just put on in the morning and just forget about, it, just let it settle and finding a strategy where the numbers work out. And I don't know if this is it or not, but I'm salivating. I'm hoping. Okay, so this one, the 20 pointer is five uh what was it? 527 profit. And then the last one is Profit was 351. 351. Okay. And so then again, these are, I forget what they were, but I'll just review the video after it's all done, editing and all that. And I'll fill that, come back and fill that in. So then we also had a live trade today. 
So I'll put this down here. So we did a live trade, 15 wide. The risk on the live trade was, where is it? Hey, come on in. I want, let's see, say hi to everybody. Here yeah, he is. Hold, my on, hold, on, hold on, I have to use the bathroom. Okay, let's. The total risk on the real money trade was four sixty. Ah, oh, it's the same as that one. And then this was a win of fifty bucks. So we say win fifty, and we don't have it. We can change it to like a green. Okay, and so what's the return on that? There was no adjustments on that one. So we can just simply take the $50 profit divided by the risk for 60 equals 10.8%. 10.8%. Oh, another one. I have two kids coming in. Come on in and say hi to everybody. Hello. Show them your shirt. You got to come in the camera. I don't think they can see you. They can see me. Uh, did you already get tickets for tonight? No. Don't. I don't want to go. Why? Change my mind. What? The, I want to watch the the premiere of the last John Mulaney episode. I already got him. No, you didn't. You just said you didn't. I was just kidding. Did you actually? Okay. Say hi, Connor. Hi. Say hi. Wave. How was school? Good. Okay. All right. Cool, guys. Did you actually get them or not? Yeah, I did. No, I didn't. Okay, so then that's it. That's the update for this week. Friday, end of day, we're all good. So if you'd like to follow along with me on any of these trades that I'm doing, including my live real money trades, my other ones, uh, just make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel below. Click that subscribe button. And also join me on my website. Go over there and sign up for my free email newsletter. When you do that, I'll leave a link to that website uh, in the description below. When you go over there and sign up for that, you'll get a... Uh, a welcome email right away just reply back to that welcome email give me a shout out say hey what's going on and i'll get back to you and we'll go from there all right that's it for this one see you next week